Hello, this is Margot Clark from Unique Glass Colors. We're the manufacturers of kiln-fired um, glass colors and mud. And today I'm going to be showing you how to mix and apply our artisan line. Uh, we, sp we started producing these, I think, a couple of years ago, two, three years ago, and they've become very, very popular. Um, they're non-toxic, which makes them very nice. And what I'm showing you here is I'm going to show you how to apply it on top. I'm going to show you how to apply it between solidly, and then I'm going to show you how to apply it um, between and to get how to control your bubbles. All right, first off, we're, I'm going to show you, we're using medium. This is royal blue. Let me open that up. Okay, can you see that lovely, lovely color? Oh, kind of, it's not so nice. Cross my heart, it turns into that pretty color. We're going to mix it with medium. We use medium to mix all of our colors, and we um, made all of our, the things we manufacture work with each other. So medium is formulated to work with our artisan colors and our NT colors. So to start off with, we, you never want to mix the whole jar because you can use this to sprinkle in between layers and it will still give you bubbles, but I want to make this liquid so that I can use it. So we always say only mix no more than a half a jar, all right? So I've got, oh, what is that, about a quarter of a jar there? And then we tell you to mix it to start with one-to-one, -one, on a one-to-one -one basis. Uh, that's especially true for our NT colors. For artisans, we call them either artist-dependent or application dependent because it depends on how thick or thin you make them and how you apply them, just what you're going to get. You like that one? So I'm going to start off by mixing them one to one. You can hear me just mixing away in there. And I just poured some in. What I'm looking for, which we're trying to show here on camera, is the consistency of melted ice cream. Let me get a little closer. Okay, and that is so not melted ice cream. So now I'll just add one or two drops, okay? Now if I want good bold color, I'm gonna stick with my, oh, there, there we go. I'm gonna stick with my one-to-one -one mix. If I want it a little more transparent, then I can make it a little bit thinner. The bubbles will be a little bit smaller and the color will be a little bit lighter if you mix it a little bit thinner. So of course, if you go the other way, mix it a little bit heavier, you'll have darker color and larger bubbles. And you can see on this one, this is royal blue. It's one of our, our uh, most popular colors. And you can see that I've got a big old bubble there and pretty good sized bubbles um, in the lines. Let me bring this over for just a second. Get this a little closer. Okay, here's a tile showing our first, the, the first 10 that we developed. What I want you to see there is that you can see that the royal blue and mystic blue, both are gonna give you pretty good sized bubbles, as is teal green. When you get into wine, you get into um, some of these other colors, sienna, the bubbles aren't quite so big. Um, each color that produces different size bubbles. And you can see here, also I wanna show you, my wife rinse off my brush. I want you to see that they're transparent. See there, I've got this held up to the light so you can see through them, even where they're applied on top. And this little one shows you what they look like on top, what they look like in between glass. So they're formulated to go in between glass. However, and I'm gonna be showing you some examples. If you put them on the top layer of glass, you're gonna get some texture, you're going to get some um, darker color, uh, and which is fun. That's a, that's a fun way to be able to use them too, but they were developed to go in between layers of glass to produce bubbles. All right, let me push that out of the way. And let us get a piece of glass here and start. Okay, so I think we're gonna come just a little bit closer now so that you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So give me a second for the, the camera to actually catch up with me. Okay, good, good. All right, so now that I've made them into um, melted ice cream, if I want solid color, get my little tile back here, if I want solid color like so, on the top of the glass, I will apply it like so. You see there? With NTs, it was puddle, push, and pull. Puddle, puddle, pull, or push into place. With, with artisans, oh, you can have yourself a good time. You can stretch that color out, and where it's been stretched a bit, it's going to be a little bit thinner. Let me bring in a, a, a wine tile to kind of show you that example. Can you see this? All right, not sure how well this shows up, but on this tile, it's very, very heavy and dark here, and it, it gets a little bit lighter here. 
This is where I started. I pulled it into here just a little bit more. So I, I uh, thinned it out slightly just by applying it a little bit lighter. All right, so that's going to give me solid texture on top. All right, then if I do, let's take another piece of glass. All right, on the second piece of glass, let's move you on over here. Getting a little shadow there. I'm gonna apply it here. Okay, same application. Put it on. When I go to fire and I put one piece of glass over the other one, get my hands out of the way here, let's just squish it. All right, this one is going to give me texture and be darker simply because I'm on top of the glass. This one is going to create bubbles like so. Let's bring that wine in because, oh, let's have a prettier one. Let's bring in let's bring in Azure. I mean, I like wine too, but I think Azure shows up better. This is going to give me solid bubbles here and a bit of texture on the top. And that's the royal blue. All right now, how about if we want to create some lines? All right, so we take these apart and set that guy over to the side. That could be interesting too. All right, I'm gonna have him come just a little bit closer for me now, just a little tiny bit closer. If I wanna create lines, I can do it in two ways. I can use my brush and we use here at UGC, we use my Margo Signature line of brushes. So I'm using a five out script liner right now. And you would set it down and pull. Now, if I'm doing line work like this, sometimes I want to make it just a little bit thicker. See how it's spreading just a little bit? If I add a little more powder to that, it will stay a little more solid, and my lines will be a little bit thinner. Okay, can you see that? So that's going to give me a line of bubbles. And here's the trick. To control your bubbles, don't let the lines Okay, and this is going to give me, when you apply it with a brush, not necessarily uneven, but you see there, everything is not quite the same. So I've got a, I've got a little heavier application, I've got a little thinner application, and this is going to give me this. Okay, it's going to give me that. Although I got, I got pretty careful there, didn't I? Let's, let's bring this one in and show you. Okay, that's going to give me, since this is the same color, this is going to give me uneven. You see how that is? I've got big bubbles and then hardly anything because wherever I set that brush down first, that's going to be a larger area. If I pulled it out, that's going to be a little bit thinner. Here's where we're talking about the application dependent. Now, we also sell decorator bottles with metal tips. So this happens to be teal blue. Now watch here. And sometimes this might be a little bit easier. It just depends on what it is that you want to do. So I've got this right along here. Watch. Now with the teal, come on teal blue, with the teal blue, you see there? I've got a much more even line. Look at there, a little bit of pressure, smaller line. Little bit less pressure, smaller line. Could you still hear me say that? More pressure, bigger line. But again, the whole thing that's going on here is these are going to create separate lines of bubbles, like so, simply because you didn't allow the product to touch one another. Once it sits for a bit, and a little trick on this decorator bottle, let me stick that back in the little camera for a second. This metal tip, you can't really leave it on that decorator bottle because that product's going to dry, dry in there. And so when you're done for the day, take it off, clean it out. However, let's see these clever things you can see on camera here. In the cap, I put a piece of paper towel and I put water on it so it's wet. Now, for the duration of my work day, I will put it together like this so that piece of wet paper towel is sitting against the top of that metal tip and it will keep for the day but only for a day so that's a little extra thing for this for today all right i want to show you this too okay here we've got plum all right plum has been sitting for i don't know about a week or so it's been since i've used this it's settled okay all the stuff settles to the bottom now our products are called fixotropic so before you start adding any liquid to this, stir it first. Let me give that a good stir. The act of stirring will liquefy. Then check and see if you need to add anything. Okay, here I might add just 
two drops of medium, that's all. And there, I've got my nice consistency back. So before you start adding any um, liquid to this, any medium to your color that's been sitting for a while, make sure that you first go ahead and stir it up really, really well. Okay, I just wanna show you a couple more things before I uh, take off on this one. This is, this is, okay, out just a little bit, please. This is a color chip that comes in our Artisan kit. We have an Artisan 1 and an Artisan 2, and we have certainly have 16 colors in the line, so Artisan 1 has the first, or has a, a nice selection of eight, and Artisan 2 has the second. So this is Artisan 1. And with this chip that you can see here, all right, is let me get my little handy dandy stick back, is this side shows the, what the color is going to look like when you apply it on top of glass. This side is going to show you what the color looks like between. And you can see on the example, let me get that better, okay, how you can see that, look at there, that's charcoal, little tiny bubbles. This is solar flare, again, little tiny bubbles. You come along in here, and here's the royal blue, here's plum. Those are going to give you some larger bubbles. Again, it all depends, too, on how much you apply. Um, I don't think that I've forgotten anything. Let me just really quickly look over. Okay, I think that I'm good on this. So we hope that you will try our line of artisan colors. A lot of people are calling them bubble paint because that's what they do. They're really, they're really enamels. They're in the enamel category. Um, and I think that I am done for today, but let me get just a last little picture here and let him come out just a little bit with the camera and let you see all this gorgeous looking stuff stuff that we have here with our artisan colors. All right, later, bye.